Women are born with pain built in. It's our physical destiny. Period pains, sore boobs, childbirth, you know. We carry it within ourselves throughout our lives. Men don't. They have to seek it out. They invent all these gods and demons and things so they can feel guilty about things, which is something we do very well on our own. And then they create wars so they can feel things and touch each other. And when there aren't any wars, they can play rugby. And we have it all going on in here. I'm just a woman. And as a woman, there's no way for me to make my own money. And if I had my own money, which I don't, that money would belong to my husband the moment we got married. And if we had children, they would be his, not mine. They would be his property. So don't sit there and tell me that marriage isn't an economic proposition, because it is. I just, I just feel, I just feel like women, they, they have minds and they have souls as well as just hearts and they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just beauty and I'm so sick of people saying that, that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it. I'm crying and they start laughing or there's people sitting in the waiting room and they're and they're like me but prettier and better at the, because maybe I'm not good enough. Yes, you are. No. No, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. You are. Maybe I'm not. You are. It's not just that. I'm not. I'm smart enough to be interesting. I can't do brain surgery. I've never flown a plane. I'm not the president. No one on the Supreme Court is me. I'm not good enough for anything. It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful so smart and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough like we have to always be extraordinary but somehow we're always doing it wrong <laughs> like you have to be thin but not too thin and you can never say you want to be thin you have to say you want to be healthy but also you have to be thin you have to have money but you can't ask for money because that's crass. You have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your kids all the damn time. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for other people. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane, but if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much or that you threaten other women because you're supposed to be a part of the sisterhood, but always stand out and always be grateful. But never forget that the system is rigged, so find a way to acknowledge that, but also always be grateful. You have to never get old. Never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard, it's too contradictory, and nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. I'm just so tired of watching myself and every single other woman tie herself into knots so that people will like us. And if all of that is also true for a doll, just representing a woman, then I don't even know 